A new horror mystery film will be dropping on Shudder on October 13th called Dark Glasses, but is it any good? Before I get into my thoughts on this new film, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, comment below your thoughts on this film, and also turn the notification bell so you never miss any review that I drop and I upload weekly. And now without further ado, let's dive into this new film. Diana, a young woman who lost her sight, finds a guide and a Chinese boy named Chin. Together they will track down a dangerous killer through the darkness of Italy. The film stars Elenio Pastorelli, Asia Argento, Andrea Garpelli, Mario Perello, Maria Rosero Russo, and many others, and was directed by Dario Argento, and he's also done the original Suspiria film. So Dark Glasses, I did see that it was going to be on a lot of festivals. I saw the poster, didn't know a synopsis, as in most of the Shutter films I go into pretty blind and just kind of look at a poster and don't know anything of what it's about, and that was no exception for this film. And this film, it really starts off really weird. You have this woman named Diana, she is driving in a car, and she has her sunglasses on, and she goes to a park, and when she goes to this park, everybody has their sunglasses on, and the sun goes away, and they're just looking up at a dark sky. So I thought that this film was gonna be like a science fiction film, something coming out of the sky, but that's not what this film was actually about. So the film actually starts off with a woman actually getting murdered and there's this investigation with this murder going on. And while they're actually trying to solve this crime, you actually have Diana, who is a prostitute. She actually gets involved in an accident. Someone actually follows her and makes her crash her car and she flips her car. And in the process, she ends up killing a family and a boy survives and she wakes up in the hospital and she finds out that she is blind. And that is one of my worst fears. So I do actually sympathize with her character. And really throughout this film, it really wants to be like a murder mystery film, but I really don't think that it really does a really good job of actually trying to really capitalize on that premise. I feel like this film, it's a tale of two halves. I was really intrigued and really sucked into the story when she actually goes blind and she gets into this accident. And I'm thinking to myself, she's going to get her revenge and this is going to be one of those revenge tales. But it really is not like that. And I felt that the cinematography throughout this film, it was very bland. There was nothing that really stuck out to me. I did like the actual score on this. I think that it has some really good moments, but I think that the film, it really does lack a lot of thrills here. I think that the villains, they're not very convincing as villains. The whole reasoning as to why they're actually doing this, it was really lame. And I felt like their acting wasn't the best throughout this film. It feels like this film, it drags on and it doesn't really have too much of a story behind it. I also wanted a little bit more with the relationship between Chin and Diana in this. I felt like that was a big main premise of the film, but I felt like there really wasn't a whole lot of moments that really did develop their whole chemistry together. Now there is one moment where he actually is getting his game stolen and she stands up for him. And that really does actually incorporate to the story and actually get the whole thing started of her actually getting into this boy's life. But I really wasn't really much of a fan of these detectives actually trying to track down this boy. Because my question was, what was really important about this boy? Why were these detectives actually going after this boy? It really didn't make a whole lot of sense. Was he somebody that really was really important and these detectives needed to find out where this boy was because at this point he's an orphan so what is his significance and what was his significance as being a Chinese boy now I don't care that the fact that he is a Chinese boy in this but what was his actual significance I mean it just felt a little bit out of place this is actually an Italian film so it has English subtitles it just felt a little bit odd the whole relationship here with the Chinese boy and the Italian woman here. I also wanted a little bit more backstory with Diana's character. We know she's a prostitute, but how did she get into this profession? Obviously she makes money because she has a maid that she's hired to actually clean her house. But really, what made her turn to this profession? And does she really actually enjoy it or is she just doing it for the money? There's also no mystery with this film. It's almost like this film really wants to just hit you over the head with every information possible and really just give away what really is actually happening. And I really just wasn't a fan of how they really wanted to actually portray this story. The last act was really aggravating. I really didn't like what the boy actually did. You could definitely sense a sense of predictability in what was gonna to happen towards the final act of the film. And we waste this time of when the actual boy and the woman are actually wandering through the woods and they stumble upon a waterway with a bunch of snakes. I was like, did we really need to have this scene here? 
And I just felt like there were certain things in this film that they wanted you to have kind of feelings for, but you really didn't have anything. And once we get to that ending and we get that reveal, it's just like, why is this the reveal? This is stupid. It makes sense, but it's just really, that's the ending. That is the whole motive. It just really turned me off and it really made me feel like I wasted my time watching this film. This film is just an okay film. I do, like I said, like the actual first half of this film and I do like the whole setup. And I do like the score in this film. But really other than that, I really can't say anything too much else positive about this film. That's why I'm gonna give a score of this film a two and a half out of five. It just didn't really do enough to really give it a really good score. It does have that really good first half that I really do enjoy and I'm really intrigued in that first half. But once we get into the middle and we get to that last act, it gets really ridiculous. It goes off the rails. Those are my thoughts on Dark Glasses. Let me know down in the comments. Did you like this film? Did you hate it? Was it meh? Thank you guys for watching this review and I'll see you guys on my next review.